my goodness, are you in store for some mouths this morning? <laughs> 70, 71 degrees, 60% chance of rain. Someone didn't tell me there was going to be severe thunderstorms in the middle of the night last night. You know, that's why I'm glad Oops. my new insurance man is here today <laughs> where I can state my first claim. No. Did you show a picture of it? Not yet. I mean, did you send it? Uh-huh. Brad, you got that? Well, let me tell you. Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank <laughs> y'all. Just hold it till I get over and sit down in a minute. Thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM. We got a full house this morning. Here's the three stooges, the Athens version of Seth, David, and Danny this morning. I'll be Danny. Danny, you still ain't working. You're still with us. I'm in there. I'm hanging in there. I'm trying to. We ready for something. Ain't that thing getting kind of hot? Oh, I'm digging a hole, Jamie. I should, I should just shave it off. I, I, I read for something yesterday, and if I get it, i got to keep it for another two weeks. So really? I'm just digging a hole. <laughs> we just did a thing yesterday. I did a big thing, and I got the Spride magazine out of the Shoals area, and one of the big new things now for guys to do, and for a wedding, big weddings, is to go and have a shave. Yeah. Like $150 a person. Yeah. Could be, up yeah. to. Wow. Who now does a hot shave anywhere in... Decatur, Athens, Huntsville, Florida. Oh, yeah. I've been you better be hot. Mm -hmm. Whiskers in Huntsville, I know. Where Whiskers does it? Yeah. Is that where you're going? <laughs> no, I, I know that. They, they, will, uh, they will do one, I know. I said, really? Yeah, yeah. I'm when you get ready to shave it, let's go in and get some video work. <laughs> well, uh, well that, it's my I don't know if anybody else with a knife in my throat. Oh, we got a lot of stuff cranking today. <laughs> Zach's got full of sports this morning. Frank, I noticed you ain't even wearing socks. No. Don't have any. Don't have any. <laughs> I just forgot to put them on. Hey, this portion of the show brought to you by Hometown Market. The new special, weekly specials come out. You'll hear glory with them in just a moment. They're in the papers this morning, too. Let's get it cranking. Yes, I'll talk about the storm in just a moment. I've been up since midnight. <laughs> What else is happening? Mm, there's a lot happening, and I know what Frank's getting for Christmas. Socks. Just added that to my list, Frank. Oh, oh, oh. All right, 70 degrees last night. There were two severe thunderstorms that moved through Athens. Hope we don't have any damage this morning. We'll show just a little bit that Jamie Cooper didn't put our little. umbrellas down. Small. That's right. Hope High I got no today of 96. You don't. Low of 73. 60% chance of thunderstorms today, and those are those scattered thunderstorms that this morning, actually. Tomorrow, your high temperature of 97. Don't you just love those high temperatures? Really? Plenty of sunshine. Low temperatures, only 73. And it looks like the weekend, we may just may be okay. We've got a birthday party to go to Saturday, so I'm hoping What's for no rain or tomorrow. Shh, bite your tongue. You didn't get that memo, did you? Uh, no. What memo? And there's outside this morning as we look out. Sun's coming up. What? Not much traffic on what Highway 72. I missed. Your dad shows up, Roy, last Wednesday. Oh, he's got shorts on. Evidently, your mama lays his clothes out every no, week. We didn't and she had only laid him out some shorts. He says, Jamie don't allow shorts on the show. That, that is a rule I had one. Well, she says, well, here's a picture of him yesterday with him on, on the show. So I guess it's okay. <laughs> Changed his mind quick. You are our new insurance. Uh, Y'all need to sign up with Country Financial, David Turner, right over there by Champion Chevrolet across the it's highway. It's not going to help you with what you're about to ask him for. I got, <laughs> hey, since I've been with you about a week now, I got major damage last night. Show that picture right there. Look. <laughs> now, what is that? I, got you, like an an I had three of them out there. Two of them are ruined. These were specially ordered from a Qu Quintar country that makes specializes in Quintar making these. Country. Yeah. What kind of country is that? It's way overseas. <laughs> uh, these, um, these, this fabric that these are made out of comes from a certain type of um, okay. animal skin that we have. I don't know where you shop, but these got them at Lowe's. <laughs> they got like they never got them. They're hand sewn. Show it again, Brad. It took these things forever to get here, and now they're broken and ruined. Ten thousand dollar umbrellas, I'm sure, is what they were. Thirty-five hundred dollars a piece. Are they For made real? by Quintarian? Quintarians. Quintarians. You know where I did that? They got all the big last week. Cameroons. Yeah. That's where they come from. That's Cameroon Quintarian. Yeah. Now I really have a dilemma. Now, what? Because they actually came from Lowe's. But I, where am I going to find two umbrellas now? Close to Fourth of July. Everybody's they're, out of them. They're mangled. I mean, I went out there this morning. I, I tried to get her to go out there at twelve thirty this morning when it was thunder and lightning. Go out there and get them umbrellas done. <laughs> See, Lightning will not want to be attracted to that metal. Now we're talking life insurance policy. He's trying to get rid of me. <laughs> Can you help me? He does have life 
life insurance policy. And my concrete could be scarred by that. It, it almost knocked over one of my Hannah Outdoor lights. <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> they have to shut the pool down for a week to investigate. Right. Yeah, really. Oh, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> right, my first claim. Not Two that. high dollar, high dollar custom made umbrella. If anyone knows where I can find two red umbrellas, let me know. Yeah, this ain't a good time to be looking for hot, you know, umbrellas the gone. weekend of the Fourth of July. Zach, exactly. what's happening this fall? Hey, first off, let me mention a friend of mine, Kathy Hudson. She's having a lot of health issues right now, and she said she'd appreciate all thoughts and prayers going her mm -hmm. way because she really could use them right now. So I know she'd appreciate that. Uh, Coach Legs Golf Tournament weather permitting. I guess I don't like no foul rain day or not, but it's supposed to be Saturday, uh, Cane, uh, not Cane Break, Southern Gales, excuse me, $300 a team, and Jimmy Smith has just joined on board, hole in one, win a new car, so there's two vehicles going to be given away Saturday if you can get a hole in one, so come on out Saturday and it helps us support the Ardmore football team. Jamie, there's a new football league, youth football league coming to Athens. Chris Seibert is the vice president of Athens Youth Football, and they're going to play their games at Athens High School. And this is different from the ones, the Athens Boys and Girls Club, that has the one at the middle school. So there's going to be basically two leagues, youth leagues in Athens this year. So that's going to be kind of interesting right there to see how that goes. But all the sign-ups, you can look up the sign-ups, the prices and everything. You can get a hold of them. It's in the... Uh, it's the Athens News Carrier today. You can get all the info from that. Tom Brady had his meeting with Roger Goodell yesterday. It was an 11-hour meeting. They said he came out off as very sincere, and we'll see how that goes if he gets his suspension uh, amended or just dropped altogether. Some people are thinking he might not have to serve any suspension. He won't. Uh, congratulations to Bobby Abernathy, son of Robin and Brian. He won first place in the 67th oh. College National Finals Rodeo in Casper, Wyoming. So congratulations to him. And NASCAR backs the move on the rebel flag. They said they agree with the South Carolina governor's call to remove the All right, flag. I just saw something on 31. They had a thing I didn't see this morning. The General Lee, the Duke of Hadrick car, yeah. got the rebel flag on the top. They're thinking about removing it. Yeah. Oh. Listen, and this is what they're talking about too. Hey. A rebel flag did not kill those people in Charleston. A gun did. No, Big difference. a gun didn't do it. A stupid person yeah. pulling a trigger did. Uh, yeah. well, what happened to people being exactly. adults? I, I mean, can we quit getting butt hurt over everything? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Everyone's a you thank you for that. You're going to get offended from somebody you just saying that. Yeah, I'm sure they did. And by the way, I don't care. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Honestly. Hey, the cooling center's open today at Central Church of Christ. If you got got no place to stay cool, they open this afternoon, and you can go over there. Open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. today uh, on this 24th day, uh, this Wednesday. So cooling center. Good. That's good stuff. Good. And a uh, local bank is suing Habitat for Humanity. Mm. Tennessee Bank is suing Habitat for Humanity. This is in the news courier this morning. Athens, Limestone County trying to regroup $248,000 in an unpaid mm. bank loan. Gary Wolf, attorney for the First National Bank of Pulaski, filed a lawsuit against Lim in Limestone County Circuit Court. Uh, they taken out a line of credit and have failed to pay it back. They did it. You well, know, the other guy stole 100000 from them. Well, they still got to pay their loan back. Yeah, they still got to pay your loan back, so there you go. Hey, let me remind you, Parade of Homes is coming up this weekend, the last weekend for that Saturday That's right. and Sunday. The uh, uh, Limestone County Home Builder Association got homes out all over the place, so there you go. All right. Y'all looking? Huh? Are y'all looking? I yeah. am looking. <laughs> I'm looking for anything. <laughs> I got more stuff for sale than you got it all insured now, don't you? Yes, sir. You got me insured. Yes, ready sir. to go. You're ready to go. What about that damage now? Forget it. Yeah, you pretty much on your own on that one. <laughs> Sorry. That's what you want your insurance man to tell you. Got to be a little bit more than that. You know, you would go out and deliver, find me two red 